back to our rodent recap satellite orbiting the Earth to bring you the results of March Mammal Madness. I am MC Marmot. The first group of contenders in the 2020 tournament avoids the question, are you a cat person or a dog person? And asks instead, how do you feel about cat-like animals and dog-like animals? It's Philoformia versus Caniformia in the Catsish versus Dogsish division. Pygmy Spotted Skunk versus Sloth Bear. Fresh off its stinky wildcard victory, the skunk was transported to northern India, where it relaxed by taking a nap in a tree. Suddenly, it was rudely awakened by the sloth bear digging for termites. The skunk tried to chase away the bear by stamping, but to no effect. And worst of all, its stink reservoirs were still empty from the last battle. The skunk stomped away in defeat, leaving the sloth bear oblivious and the victor. Terra versus Phalanoke. A large factor in these early rounds is, all together now, home habitat advantage. The Tyra was at home in Costa Rica, while the Falanuk was disoriented and sleepy. The Tyra growled at the interloper, and the Falanuk froze, then dashed away, leaving the Tyra victorious. The Tyra psychs out its opponent, and moves to round two. Fossa versus Greater Grison. We return to Madagascar, where the Fossa noticed a newcomer, the Grison, exploring and marking the rainforest. The Grison trotted along happily, oblivious to the Fossa stalking it from above. Suddenly, the Fossa attacked, slamming the Grison at high speed and chopping its skull. <coughs> the Fossa wins. We are sort of nervous. Kinkajou versus African Civet. The Civet and Kinkajou met in Gabon, and only one thing was on their minds. Figs! Yes, figs. The Civet was eating a bunch of them, and the Kinkajou wanted them for itself. The Civet told it to back off, raising its crest to look intimidating. And it worked! The Kinkajou gave up without a fight and left. The African Civet advances! Brown Hyena versus Solongoy The Solongoy found itself in Botswana, a fur piece from its native Siberia. As it looked around, it caught the eye of a curious hyena, which approached. The spunky Solongoy stood its ground and snarled, then sprayed the hyena. The hyena was, meh, I've smelled worse, and kept approaching. The Solongoy decided not to press its luck and disappeared down a nearby hole. So long, Goy! A strong stomach and an intimidating presence gives brown hyena the victory. Giant Forest Genet versus European Badger. This battle was another instance of, all together now, home habitat advantage. The Genet was transported to the chilly Swiss Alps and wandered right into the well-worn path of a hangry badger. The badger wasted no time in making a meal of the unfortunate genet, and he was off. Hanger is an energy. The badger advances. Red Panda versus Spotted Linsang. High in the trees of China's Yunnan province, the Red Panda was foraging for food. Suddenly, it heard a mysterious rustling nearby. It was the spotted linseng, also hunting for food. The linseng was surprised, but the panda was not. It was ready for a fight and swiped. The linseng, missing some fur, scurried away. The red panda advances. 
Caspian Seal versus Common Cusimans. I see. I am here to report a most shocking development. The Cusimans seem to have no chance against the seal here on its home shore. But it leapt into battle anyway, and it turned out that the seal was not in top fighting form. Did you know the Caspian seals have outbreaks of canine distemper? Huh? It's true. And this seal was so sick <coughs> that it couldn't <coughs> its own against the Cusimans. Boy, what an upset. The Cusimans advances. Brr, it's cold. Hey, pal, can you beam me down some tea? Earl Grey, hot. <laughs> March Mammal Madness is truly underway, with carnage, upsets, and a lot of running away. We will be back tomorrow to cover the first round of the Tiny Terrors Division. See you then.